am going to teach you about a certain kind of knee pain and it's patella femoral knee pain. And first I'm going to start off by handing you out kind of like a pre-test kind of thing. And it's just to kind of see what you know before I teach you. I'll start by explaining what it is exactly and what it is. It's just pain in the region of the kneecap, known as the patella. And it's the patella femoral knee pain is also known as runner's knee. And this is kind of an image just of where you would feel the pain and it would be around this area. And you have this kind of overview, overview of what the knee looks like. And the factors as to why you would have this kind of knee pain is either overuse or minor trauma to the knee, obesity, weak quadriceps, flat or high arch feet, or misalignment of the patella. And what um, some symptoms are if you have pain for sitting for a long period of time, or your knee like giving out as a pain, like, yeah, or pain whenever you start a new activity, or you increase just kind of the your the intensity of the current one you have you're doing right now, and it can sometimes turn into aching pain that's like a burning sensation. Okay. medication for example Aleve ibuprofen or you can change your footwork because that was noted earlier there you can have higher arch feet that can cause for the knee pain and you can also go for physical therapy that can help strengthen your knee and they just show you ways that you can do activities and not hurt your knee as much and there's also something known as the rice method that a lot of the actors probably know about it's to you have to rest, of course, and that means to just kind of stop the activity you're doing in order to prevent the pain. There's icing the knee, and that's just icing the area that it hurts, and like, you need the rest in order for this to work. Compression, and that's whenever, after you're doing icing, you kind of wrap it and just make sure it's nice and compressed so it's like there's pressure on it. And then you elevate it, it's supposed to be like at your heart, when you elevate your foot, it's supposed to be at, like, up there. And some other treatment options are to strengthen your knee. Okay, so I'll press these out now. That just shows the different kind of exercises. So we'll start with the first exercise on your sheet, and that one's a hip abduction. And you just can lay down on one side and just, as shown as in, in this figure, just raise your leg up. You can, but you don't have to do it with the weight. The weight is just kind of for strengthening purposes. And it targets the glutes, the glutes your abductors, and it just kind of helps stabilize your knee. If you were to do it without the weight, just kind of be for more of a stretching purpose. The next one would be for stretching the quads. Um, the quads is it has a big impact on how much pressure is on your knee. So if you have shorter quads, there won't be as much pressure on your knee. And it just helps loosen the muscles because before any exercise, you should stretch. It just helps to reduce the risk of any kind of any injury while you're doing any kind of activity. And there's this one, again, this is another one that you don't have to do with the weight. It just helps just kind of get the rhythm of lifting and bending the knees at the waist and it stretches and strengthens those muscles. Again, it's another one where if you do it with the weight, it's more for strengthening surfaces and if you do it without, it's more for stretching. And this is just a stretching like I was explaining earlier. You should do it before every activity and it loosens the muscles in order to prevent injury. <coughs> And this one's the gastrocnemius. And it helps the muscles on the back of the lower leg and muscles below the knee. And that just helps for to have more support on your knee. If you're strengthening the muscle below the knee, it just doesn't require as much pressure on that part of the knee. And on the lower leg too down there. So now I'm going to 
ask you guys to just kind of discuss in your group of what you learned and just kind of if you can think of any other exercise that you can do with what you learned already and just think of target areas that you would need in order to strengthen the needs. So if you could discuss in your group and then we'll talk about it. We thought that maybe you can do squats as another exercise. Why would but that? then, because like it helps all with your quad and stuff, right? <laughs> but then we thought maybe not because like you might not have like enough support. Or maybe you deal with chairs. But... A good idea. Okay. What about you guys? No, we came up with lunges. Why lunges? <laughs> Why would you choose like this? Mm -hmm. you guys? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Benny got one is. Yeah. And that group back there? Um, you said, um, stretching. Stretching? Like what kind of, was there anything specific? And you guys were talking about, and this group right here was talking about alternatives to squats like sitting down. We're going to play kind of a little game now. Okay, so if someone is able to just kind of tell me the exercises without looking at their paper and just kind of explain to me where it's traces. Anyone? It was just stretching. Is there? Do you know what their what each exercise helps with? Just strengthen muscle, stretch muscles, or epidemias, but then stretch. And it's a session. It's for abdominals. It's for abdominals. And stretching. Thank you. 